Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Left, and I'm back here in Destiny. It's Friday. It's Zer Day. My armor doesn't match. He's right here. He's going to be where he spawned week one, if you played for that long. It's just right down the stairs. Right here in this little alcove. Right here. And if it loads... For the Titans, we've got the Twilight Garrison giving you that uh, sweet evade in the armor, increased discipline and strength, more sniper ammo and rocket ammo, and solar armor or solar recovery. Um, honestly, I would probably go sniper ammo if you do like running a uh, sniper rifle in the Crucible. For the Hunters, we've got the ATS-8 Arachnid, actually one of my favorite helmets. A lot of people did not like it when it first came out. Um, and it could still be that way. I don't know. I got increased strength and increased intellect. Probably going to go intellect on this one as it does. Uh, the Arachnid Sensorum does affect your super. Golden Girl zooms in for more accuracy. And uh, can be kept ready for longer. That's kind of awesome. So it makes your Golden Gun last longer. And we've got Infusion on here. Ashes to Assets and Heavy Lifting. We'll probably go Ashes to Assets. You're probably going to have grenades more than you are going to have... Uh, Heavy, heavy ammo. Wow, I can't talk today. For the Warlocks, we've got the Ram. It's going to give you increased armor and all Void Walker melees trigger lifesteal on hit. Then we've got increased intellect and strength, inverse shadow, heavy lifting, and infusion. Probably go strength on this one just to boost your uh, melee recovery even more. And then for the weapon, we have got the Hawkmoon. It is the only hand cannon with more than 10 rounds in the magazine. Definitely a good weapon. It's gotten a buff in its range stat, so it's back to being decent. De uh, from what I've heard from PS4 players, it's not as good as it was year one. Lug in the chamber, holding ace is giving you that 13 round mag with three, uh, three extra damage bullets, so you could, in fact, two shot somebody. You can't one shot them anymore, though. Then we've got the Legacy Ingram over here for you, and it's a heavy weapon, so if you never got a Yaller Horn, now is your time. Uh, down here for the for your Sparrows, you've got the Plasma Drive and Emerald Coil, turn them from rare to legendary. Then we've got heavy ammo synthesis for three for one coin, five three of coins for seven strange coins, glass needles for a whole bunch of shit, which is not worth it, and your material exchange down here, uh, one mode of light for two strange coins. Um, personally, I honestly have not been playing Destiny that much. Um, it's kind of bad, right? Um, Dark Souls 3 came out and kind of stole my life. I am going to buy the Arachnid just because I have the year one version, but I never have enough legendary marks to 3D print it, so whatever. And this is a decent roll. It's got Infusion. I like Infusion. And if you can't tell, I got Kepri Sting last time. Don't know if I showed you guys. Can't remember. L really, I've been Dark Soulsing my life away. Um, but that's going to do it for me today, guys. Let me know. Did you pick up the Arachnid or the Ram or what have you? Um, Why did you pick them up? The Arachnid, I think, is going to be pretty strong. It might actually now be stronger than the Symbiote. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, I'm Left, and I'll see you guys back here in Destiny and probably very soon Dark Souls.